a lot of us are working from home right now, and that means that we're doing appointments and meetings via web conference. I had a viewer ask for some tips on setting up his at-home teleconferencing station. So let's do it. These are my few simple tips for setting up your video conference so that it looks the most professional it can, even though you are at home and you don't have a professional video studio. Really quickly before we get started, a new module in my Beginner's Guide to Classic Portraiture course just went live. It's a big one, all about gear. My courses are available to members. So members, I will put a link in the description of this video for you to check that out. And if you want to know what membership is or you're interested in photography courses, I will also put a link to find out more about channel membership in the description as well. Okay, so I have done meetings and video podcast interviews on my webcam for years. When I first started out on YouTube, I made a whole slew of my videos on my webcam actually. So I will share a few of my tips today, but spending a little bit of time before your call to see what you can come up with, maybe even doing things that you wouldn't normally dream of doing for a phone call, like moving furniture, might be in order right now. First, you need light. A window is probably going to be the easiest option. The color and the quality of the light is typically going to be better with a window than with a table lamp or overhead light in your office. So if you can sit facing a window or at least mostly facing a window, now does that mean that you move your desk? Maybe use the dining room table as a temporary office for a while? Could you at least angle your monitor or webcam so that you mostly face a window. Of course, you may be doing a call when it's dark out and you simply may not have a window available. And if that's the case, try repurposing some lighting from elsewhere in your home. Can you get some sort of lighting to face you at around eye level so that your face and eyes are illuminated? Again, consider moving your desk or your computer to make that happen. Now I'm a photographer and I could talk about lighting all day, but the basic idea here is that you have some light hitting your face from somewhere in front of you and from around eye level. You may have noticed that my computer here is on top of some books. I don't normally work like this. I did this so that my webcam is roughly at eye level with me. This is what I do when I teleconference. Low angle video where the camera is looking up at you simply looks bad, so I avoid that. And likewise, if your webcam is too high and it's looking down on you, that's no good either. You could put a few pillows under you to elevate yourself so that you're at about eye level with the camera if you need to. Those are the two most important things. If you can get yourself illuminated and you can face the camera at about eye level, you might be good to go. But let's go a little bit further for some bonus points. This is for my type A compatriots, <laughs> you fellow perfectionists out there. <laughs> what does the environment behind you look like? Do you need to just clean up? Or if you wanna create a mini teleconference studio, here are a few ideas. You could set yourself up in a place where the background looks good. I have some shelves showcasing my cameras behind me. Or if you are in your home office, you could simply move a bookshelf behind you or hang a photo or two behind you. Even if you're hanging those lower than you normally would hang them so that they can be seen behind you when you're sitting in front of your camera, just grab them from somewhere else in your home. You can always move them back to their rightful position later. No harm, no foul. You might just have to putty up and paint a little bit later. A quick note here. I mentioned at the beginning of this video to practice and set up prior to your call. Different computers and operating systems and teleconferencing services do have different ways to do this, but if you can't figure that out, just use the selfie camera on your phone. It will give you the same effect just hold it wherever your camera is. So do your best with what you have. You may not create the super professional teleconferencing setup of your dreams. You may run into challenges, like if you're using window light and the lighting changes outside, so the look of your webcam looks different. 
we're all going through it right now. Be kind to yourself. The people that you are talking to are having the same struggles. If nothing else, sit up straight, look alive, and that might be the best that you can do. All right, everyone, I hope that helped. If you have any ideas that I didn't mention, let the rest of us know down in the comments. And thank you, Dean, for the video suggestion. And thanks to all of you for watching.